pretty easy for us to get our hair done, but what happens when you need to get your dogs groomed? I've got some tips for pet parents on grooming. Being pampered and primped all day sounds like a luxury, but your dog has other ideas. We think of it as the spa and they think of it as the dentist. There are some things pet parents can do at home to make grooming an easier experience on their pooch and on themselves. Alexandria Quignone, owner of Ali's Pet Spa, emphasizes the importance of brushing and touching your dog before they ever get to the groomer. Playing with your dog, grabbing the ears, touching the face, um, picking up the feet, looking at them. Owner of Pet Stylista, Penny Wilson, agrees. Anything that we do here, if you can do it at home, then it's not something that's foreign to them when they come to the groomer. The main thing that people need to do is brush. Brush, brush, brush. Despite looking like a torture device, these metal bristled brushes are the ones recommended for getting rid of trapped dirt and reducing shedding. Brushing is essential, but our fur babies don't need a bath nearly as often as you do. You don't want to bathe more than once a month. Dogs don't sweat like we do, so their odors come from what's in the hair. So moisture and dirt in the hair. You can brush a lot of that out. Also, it just depends too on what your dog's activities are. If they roll around in the dirt, you might want to bring them in in two weeks. A little exercise before the two to three hour process of grooming an animal also helps. Taking them for a good little five to 10 minute walk before you bring them into the groomer helps with the nerves, gives a little bit of energy runoff. But having a good dog to groom is really all about the love. Making sure your dogs socialize, having lots of people touch and pet them actually makes a huge difference in grooming.